You know, not to take anything away from uh, individuals going through hard stuff. The worst thing that has happened as a result of this actor strike is they stopped production on Deadpool 3, damn it. That's the worst. <laughs> Screw all these people who don't have health insurance or their money or their livelihood. Deadpool 3! <laughs> <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> There you go. That's what I expected. Deadpool. That's the answer. It's right all now. about me. Deadpool. Fair. Fair. Why my Deadpool? The only ones. Um, and you know, which is really unfortunate too, because man, they were rolling on that. We were getting all sorts of set pictures coming out. The the everything was moving. It looked so exciting. People seeing the costumes, all that kind of stuff. And of course, obviously with the with the strikes, it it shut it down. And when can they get back to it? Just recently, of course, they announced that, yeah, that release date in March, yeah, not going to happen. And they pulled Deadpool off the release schedule. And they haven't given us a new date yet, which I, I can understand. They want to know when they can do it. But according to Deadline, they actually have a target for when they're going to start up production again. This comes to us from the folks at CBR who wrote the following. According to Deadline, the anticipated Deadpool 3 equal now looks to set to resume shooting in January. The upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe blockbuster is around 50% complete, all but confirming the movie will not make its original premiere date in May of 2024, despite Marvel Studios having yet to make an official announcement on any shifts. Based on its current timeline, Deadpool 3 could be completed as early as March 2024 before it enters post-production. All right. Uh, one thing I'm going to say about this, they're not going to wait until shooting's done to start post-production. One of the things I can 100% guarantee you as fact is that while the strikes have been going on and they haven't been shooting Deadpool 3, oh, they've been working on the post-production of the stuff they have shot. 100% post-production work's been happening. Now, of course, they're going to need to get the rest of the movie shot in order to finish the post-production, but the estimates I've read is I probably have about six more weeks, six to seven more weeks of shooting on Deadpool 3. And then they'll be off to the races. I agree with the article. There's no way they're going to make that March release date. No way. I think if we're lucky, we're maybe looking at the end of summer, probably the, into the fall, maybe October, maybe November. We may be about a year away from yeah. the movie coming so out. Which thinking, sucks because we were so close. I was thinking it'd be perfect then for like Thanksgiving of next year. Oh. I, it would be a good date for it. I mean, look, this movie's going to make money wherever it opens. <laughs> I, I think we all agree about that. How much? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But look, I, I'm just excited to hear that at least according to Deadline, they're looking to start production up again in January. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone. But now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Anyway, Chris, you heard about this mm -hmm. i mean this is all of course assuming that we get an end to the strike by january yeah that's what i was gonna say i assume i will be filming in january as well <laughs> yeah. i assumed i'd be filming today yeah but here we are you know I, uh, so I, what do you think about this report i think it is a very lovely teaspoon of hope <laughs> that's all i got for you fit folks uh because it, it is it's a, it's a bunch of sweet little wishes yeah, yeah, if everything gets sorted, we're going to resume filming. Rad. <laughs> if everything gets sorted, yeah. I'm so excited for you because they cannot move forward with this unless they get an interim agreement, which, okay. Yeah, that will happen. If, if that happens for this, that means that the strike would be done. Right. So they need to have the strike be done. 
So I love the idea of this resuming filming. I love them doing this because I'm so excited about this movie. I love me some Hugh Jackman. I'm so pumped about Wolverine being back in here and all the weirdness that this movie could be. But this, uh, it's a... It's such a, a warm fart on a cold toilet seat. Well, we're just so burnt on this like this strike right yeah. now that we're like, we want to get our hopes up. I can already hear people asking, well, wait a minute, time out. We've heard that they might be getting close to a deal. If they make a deal it, like in the next couple of days, mm -hmm. why couldn't they go back into production even sooner? As we've been talking about, you got to remember, Deadpool is now not the only thing that's been thrown off. There are literally hundreds of projects with thousands of crew members, creative staff, actors, directors, writers, set construction people, all that kind of stuff, who have had other things scheduled for the last three months that are now all trying to get things up and running again. And just because dead, the strike ends does not mean everybody's now available to come back to the table. Yep. What it sounds like Marvel may have been doing is, other than with the actors, because they can't talk to the actors right now, is probably going around to all the crew, everybody, and saying, which is, remember, we're talking about an effort of thousands of people to make these yeah. movies, and saying, look, when can we get everything up and running again? And they probably targeted January. So, like, even if we find out by the end of the day that the strike is over, even if that were to happen they are not going to be ready to just jump back into production. Exactly. It's too big of a machine. It's so many moving parts. And and please don't confuse my <laughs> flippancy here for complete disregard for the strike. I am really proud of our negotiating team. I am really proud of my union for fighting for this. But we can't say that we're moving forward until we actually can, you mm -hmm. know? And those right. other parts hopefully we'll be able to. I really hope that production folks get to go back to work and are able to be doing post-production, doing other things, making their livelihood, making their insurance quotas and everything. Because again, as we keep talking about here, this affects the entire market. If you were in one of the major filmmaking markets like LA, like Chicago, like New York, it's the entire economy of your town. And so we definitely mm. want people going back to work and everything. I just... <clears throat> I don't feel like we all can keep holding our breath, right? And so you got to figure out other things. You got to figure out how you can stay on that picket line and still support your families. So it's it's a lot of moving parts that even once everything comes together and is finally negotiated, which I hope is so soon and I hope it's this week, you still have to get everyone's schedule back on track. Yeah, and again, it's not just Deadpool. I mean, if I had my way, that is the only movie in production in Hollywood. But the reality is there's hundreds of TV shows, hundreds of movies, and only limited numbers of people who can work on them. And it's going to be a mad dash to get location space, mm -hmm. crews ready to go. It's going to be kind of crazy. So yeah. January sounds reasonable. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.